Hi, I'm Vijay from MB100 and here in this very short session, we are going to discuss all 40 general awareness questions of Tesla 2023 and their correct answers as well. All right, the Indian film RRR won the Golden Globe Award this year for, I'm sure everyone would have got it right. Okay, the country that has been elected recently to UN Security Council to succeed India as a non-permanent member for two years. Of course, all non-permanent members are there in Security Council for a period of two years only. Right, the answer had to be from Asia. So the answer is Japan. What is the full form of GPT used in chat GPT? Here the options were such that you could have guessed the answer also, even if you didn't know it. All right, not a big deal. Okay. Which countries have won the consecutive editions of FIFA World Cup? So, what do you think? Is a strategic general knowledge question? Or based on current affairs? Since FIFA World Cup took place this year, so this question, this apparently strategic general knowledge question is inspired from there, of course. Right? The answer is Brazil and Italy. Okay? The government of India has amended the legal age for here. I would want to see the response sheet because you mostly people believe that the answer is marriage age for women at this stage it is 18 and there is just a proposal there is just a proposal to make it 21 so it is a bill and not yet an act okay so if they ask this question what answer did they expect all right so we need to see which of the following states Sunabeda Wildlife Sanctuary is located. Odisha, I ask you to do lots of uh, static general knowledge. I ask you to read NCRT books. Okay. India aims to generate what percent of their energy from non-fossil sources by 2030? Answer is 50%. First recipient of the prestigious Gyanpeet Award was G. Shankara Kuroop in Malayalam. Climate scientists are predicting the drying out of Amazon rainforest through the term through the term tipping point could have been guessed david warner scored a double century in his 100th test cricket luckily not against india okay who is the only other batsman in world to have a double century in his 100th test cricket match it was joe root it happened in 2021 and it happened against india all right by the way there is one cricketer who hit not one but two centuries in his 100th test match. Who was it? Can you guess the answer? All right, please put the answer in the comment section of this video. The winner of Booker Prize 2022. I got it wrong. I do not know how. Okay, so there are two kinds of Booker Prizes. One is International Booker Prize, International Booker Prize and one is Booker Prize. Okay, so Booker Prize 2022 went to a lady from Sri Lanka, Shehan Karunatilaka. Okay? Alright. The International Booker Prize went to the writer of the book, Reth Ki Samadhi in Hindi. Okay? Alright. Loss of smell due to coronavirus disease is known as anosmia. Okay? Alright. It has a nose in it. The Sangeet, Sangeet Natak Academy recognizes eight styles of Indian dance. Okay, which one they do not recognize? Chow. Okay, who was the first Indian to be appointed as commander in chief of the Indian army? The answer is K. M. Karyappa. Minimum and maximum capping of the pension under Pradhan Mantri Bhai Vandana scheme. Minimum is 1000 per month and the maximum is 10,000 per month. Polar light is the atmospheric phenomenon in which angelic waves of green purple. All right. The answer is Aurora Borealis. And mind you, one of the options was Aurora Australis as well. Please keep one thing in mind that Austral means related to the Southern Hemisphere. And here they have very clearly given something related to Arctic region. That is a North. By the way, Boreal is related to North, related to Arctic to be more specific. So the answer had to be Aurora Borealis. The present number of Union territories in India, 8. How many of you marked 9? How many of you marked 9? Daman and Deev has been merged with Dadra and Nagar Haveli, long back. Okay. 
India won 2-0 to FIH Nations Cup. Women's hockey team. This also could happen, guest, I believe. Loans not repaid for how many days are classified as non-performing assets? Class 10 Eco Economics. Okay, 90 days. Which of the following mountain peaks is not part of the Trans Himalayan range? I ask you to do static general knowledge. Goodwill Peak is in Madhya Pradesh and is the highest peak. Sadhbhavna Shikhar. No, I'm not kidding. It's actually called Sadhbhavna Shikhar in Hindi. All right, they translate proper nouns also at times and is the highest peak of the Vindhyas. Okay. In 2022, two new communities were added to the list of scheduled tribes in the state of. One of the options was Manipur, but that is not the answer. The answer is Tamil Nadu. Okay. In which of the following ecosystems, the pyramid of biomass is inverted in shape? Aquatic. All right. Or pond. Which city is known as the soccer ball manufacturing capital of the world? Hmm. You would not like the answer much. Pakistan Seal Court. They also need some support to their economy. All right. Okay. How many seats in the Lok Sabha reserved for members from SC and ST? For SC, 84. For ST, 47. So the total is 131, which was one of the options. In fact, one of the options was 138 as well. Okay. All right. This, I'm sure everyone mugged it right. The first Asian to win the Nobel Prize in Literature was Rabindranath Thakur. All right. Babuji. Kipach, a form of Rajasthani folk music, portrays the work and life of Babuji, who was from Bhopa community. Many people mark Bhil community as their answer, but the answer is Bhopa community. The Nobel Prize for Economics, now I'm sure everyone got it right. And anyway, you expect questions from Nobel Prize and, and, and Padma Awards in Testnet almost every year, right? So banks and financial crisis. The current president of India belongs to which of the following tribes? Santhal. Okay. All right. Which of the following languages is not listed in the eighth schedule of the Indian constitution? Answer is English is not there and Nepalese is there. Please keep that in mind. Okay. All right. The recently published book by Salman Rushdie is Victory City. I'm sure uh, all of you are aware of this that he was attacked last year. Okay. By a knife. All right, and his latest book is Victory City, uh, of course, uh, is a fiction, and this Victory City is in India. Okay, which of the following statements is correct? Here you could have eliminated two options straight away. Kyoto Protocol was on GHGs, greenhouse gases, right? Similarly, Apico movement was the Chipko movement of South India. The original Chipko movement took place in 70s in erstwhile Uttar Pradesh, what is now Uttarakhand, okay, Uttarakhand was then part of Uttar Pradesh, of course, okay. So, uh, here the answer is Montreal Protocol, which gharana is famous for Dhrupad? Okay, the answer to this question is a place that is in my home state, Bihar, and that is how I know the answer since my childhood, Dumra. A way of keeping this in mind is D for Dhrupad, D for Dumra. Reverse mortgage scheme 2007 was launched by the government of to benefit senior citizens. And who are senior citizens? People above the age of 60. All right. National Family Health Survey 5. Now, here also I would want to see the response sheet. Okay. Before we commit any answer to you. Because I do not remember the options. The 5G spectrum is related to, I'm sure here also almost everyone would have got it right, airwaves. G7 is conglomeration of seven nations of the world. Okay, Canada, France, Italy and Japan. I believe two of the options had Russia also in it. So you, you had to straight away eliminate those two options. G7 plus Russia was G8. Isn't that? Okay, all right. And here, many people somehow believe that uh, more than half the question, probably 25, 30 questions were on uh, static general knowledge. But the actual number of static general no knowledge questions was only 16 to 17, not more than that. 16 to be very precise. There were two questions which were inspired from FIFA World Cup 2022. 
even if you count those two okay the number of static general knowledge questions was 18 so there were as many as 22 questions on current affairs all right please join our telegram group we share lots of valuable content there okay and if you like this short session please do give us a thumbs up share the session with your friends and subscribe to mp100 if not done already all the best